everyone. Um, so today I wanted to talk a little about how the enemy seeks to attack those very areas that we're very insecure about to disqualify us from our calling. And um, so I'll just give you an example. Yesterday I had um, like a, an acquaintance of mine who actually messaged me and said that, you know, it's it's cool that, you know, you always talk about God and stuff, but would you mind, like, maybe, like, posting some pictures of flowers or, like, being more exciting or having more expressions as you talk because I tend to just scroll past it. And, um, and, um, like, I tried to ignore it, but then as I thought about it, I was like, oh my god, this is totally, like, the enemy like in the form of an acquaintance because um you know it's like when you go on instagram you see a lot of people they're always posting photos and they're always edited they have makeup on um you know me usually when i get a word from god i'm in my pjs okay and i usually don't have makeup on uh my hair there's always flyaways for some reason and you know in the natural, I can say, like, you know, I'm not qualified. I don't have, you know, like, a PhD or, like, a theological background. Um, but those very areas of insecurities the enemy has used against me, you know, like, you're not qualified to be a prophet, you know, and all that. Um, and, you know, like, I could stop making this video um, because no one's watching right now, you know, and all these insecurities could come up. But I felt like God, like even in the season when we're facing all these giants and these storms, I feel like God is just saying, keep pushing forward. Don't let the enemy accuse you of your insecurities because it's not your security in the flesh and what you can do in your qualifications and your resume. It's not those things that qualify you for your calling. It is the sacrifice of Jesus dying on the cross for you. He, hi Diana, um, he is the one that qualifies you. You don't have to have the money. You don't have to have, um, I'm going to like it back. Yay, thanks for watching. You don't have to have the money. You don't have to have the education. Um, you don't have to have, you know, even the looks or, or, or like the makeup or whatever it is that most people have on Instagram right, right now. It is God who qualifies you. And, um, you know, I was just talking to a friend of mine who just went through so much, like, bullying because um, people were just, like, really attacking her looks for some reason. And she is beautiful, right? Um, but, you know, that area of insecurity, the enemy will come to accuse you. And in that, in that case, like, when you're called to be in the spotlight and you hide yourself because you're ashamed of your looks or you're ashamed of what you're not qualified to do or what you don't have, you know, you know, maybe like a background of, you know, being rich or whatever it is. Um, then, then you, you, you start to back out and you hide in your cave and you no longer go forward towards what God wants you to do. And, um, and you lose your shine, you know? And so, I just really encourage you in this season to look at what the enemy has been attacking you on um, and to not be scared to just keep keep at it. And, you know, honestly, like every time I make my video, I'm like, oh, my God, my hair, my hair is like flying away. Like, that's why I wear um, a hat um, a lot of the time because I'm just like. Why is my hair not listening to me right now, you know? And most of the time, I have, like, some type of, like, pimple on my face. Um, and it's just, like, I'm tempted to use, like, foundation to cover it. But at the same time, you know, God always says to me, it's not your looks or, like, your flyaway or hair, uh, whatever that qualifies you. It's not even how you speak about me. It's not about how you pronunciate things or how perfect you are and eloquent you are. It's about the message and the power of the message because, you know, we don't, we don't um, work and operate out of like our own strength or from our own flesh or 
It's actually from the power of the Holy Spirit, and it's the Holy Spirit that enables this message to go out, where it just impacts your heart right away. So it's nothing about like, oh, I scripted this, I wrote a script. You know, every time I give a word, it's never something that I've written beforehand or that I'm reading from. I'm always just talking from the back of my butt or whatever you call it. You know, like. That sounds weird.、Um, like it's just always,、um, it's it's never planned, and、um, that's why I never, I never, like it's I never,、um, what's it called? See, even now I'm like I don't know what I'm talking about. But see, it's always the Holy Spirit speaking through me, and it's not from my own like willpower or flesh. It's just the Holy Spirit just. Desiring to pour himself out from me for my words, and so in this season, whatever the enemy has brought against you, just remember the truth that you are made righteous in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, and that the enemy has no、um, no right into your territory, and that you get to just keep going forward. And even when you feel discouraged, that. Remember, God has already paved the way for you, and don't get in- discouraged when no one is like watching or like no one is like encouraging you or like telling you good things because God is behind you. I'm feeling really hot. <laughs> It's like the fire of God, and so I just pray that、um, you will continue to advance forward in March. March forward. God bless. I am. On social media on Instagram, go to my website rebeccalian dot com. It's totally free to subscribe and God bless. Bye. Thanks for watching.